Hello, and welcome to this demo of the free form pre review workflow on prereview.org. Before you start authoring your pre review, remember that you need to log in with your ORCID ID. ORCID is an online service we use to register and authenticate users. You can use ORCID to record and share your scholarly and research activities across the web as well. After logging in, all you need next is the DOI of the preprint you'd like to review. Once you have that, click on the big red Review a Preprint button on the homepage. How would you like to start your pre-review? A lot of people have already written their review outside the platform, either individually or collaboratively as part of a journal club. And they may want to select the option where you just copy and paste in the pre-written review, but that's not true of everyone. So once you've pasted in your DOI, you'll get a few choices of how to proceed. First, you'll see a confirmation screen to make sure that the preprint you've selected is the one you want to review. If it is, you can click on Start Now. As you can see, you have three choices of how you would like to start your pre-review. There's the choice of a prompted template or a structured pre-review. These are questions we've developed with help from our community members to provide clear, constructive, and actionable feedback to a preprint's author. There is also a choice of starting with a template or starting with, I've already written a review. If you'd like to start with a template, we provide you some basic examples of good reviewer behavior and a very basic structure to follow in your preprint review, including a summary and then your major and minor concerns about the preprint. However, as you'll be writing your reviews outside of the pre-review platform and then copying and pasting them in, you can simply select, I have already written my review, and then click Continue. After you hit Continue, you'll find this wide open text box where you can paste in your review. There's basic text formatting functionality here as well should you need to add any headers or to create any lists or to fix any links that maybe didn't survive the copying and pasting process. We'll simply put in test review for now to further demonstrate the workflow. After you've pasted in your review, you can click save and continue. Once you've pasted in your review, the next step in the workflow is to pick the name you'd like to use. As a pre-review user, you'll have both a public profile and a pseudonymous profile you can use if you are not willing or able to publish publicly for whatever reason. I'm going to go ahead and click on my name. You can learn a bit more about the pseudonym here if you have questions about your own pseudonym. And then I'll hit save and continue. The next question asks you if you have reviewed the preprint with anyone else. If you worked on this preprint review alone, you can click on, no, I reviewed it alone. You can also choose between, yes, I worked on it with others, but they don't want to be listed as authors, or yes, I did work on it with others, and some or all of them want to be listed as authors. I'm going to say, no, I reviewed it alone for now. But if you have reviewed it with other people and they would like to be listed as authors, you can choose this last option, confirm that they have read and approved of the pre-review you'd like to publish. And then a new workflow to be released soon will help you notify us which authors we need to reach out to by email to authenticate their participation in the pre-review. Right now, you may need to email us and to let us know who helped on the pre-review, but very shortly in the future, this process will be more automated and that will be reflected in the user interface very soon. But for now, we'll click on, no, I reviewed it alone. The next window asks if you have any competing interests. If you have a question about what a competing interest might be, you can click here to look at some examples. So maybe you are the author of the preprint that you're reviewing, or maybe you've worked with the author of the preprint, uh, you've published with them, or you hold a grant together. These are all competing interests, and they're important to disclose. 
I do not have competing interests here, so I will click on no and then hit save and continue. The next window asks you to certify that you are following the pre-review code of conduct. There's a link right underneath the code of conduct header that you can visit to review the code of conduct if you need to. You can also review examples of expected behaviors and unacceptable behaviors from that code of conduct right here within the pre-review workflow itself. Once you're satisfied that you are following the code of conduct, you can check this button and click save and continue. Finally, you'll be able to check your pre-review before publication. You'll see the title of the preprint as well as its server, again, so you can confirm that you're about to review the correct preprint. Then the details you've shared with us in terms of which profile you'd like to be credited with for authorship and your competing interests are correct. You can also change those settings if you need to. For example, you may like to switch from your public profile to your pseudonym or from your pseudonym to your public profile. You may remember, oh, I do have this relationship with one of the authors. Let me list that as a competing interest just in case. And then if you would like to make any final edits to your review itself before you hit publish, you can click on change down here by your review to edit the review itself. It's important to note that when you're satisfied everything is in order, before you hit the publish pre-review button, your work will be licensed with CC BY by pre-review. We'll go ahead and hit this publish button now. Our pre-review has been successfully published. The large box at the top of the page lets us know the DOI that Zenodo has assigned to our preprint review. And then we have a few other pieces of helpful information for next steps after publication. First, what happens next? Well, you'll be able to find your pre-review shortly, both on Zenodo and on preview.org. It's also going to appear on Society as part of the pre-review group there. You can, of course, share your review let others know that you've reviewed this preprint, whether it's on Twitter or LinkedIn, or by creating your own list on Society, gathering the reviews that you've authored. You can also click on the link underneath, let us know how it went to schedule a user research interview with our product team to share a bit about your experience with pre-review, what worked for you, and how we might improve the platform to better serve you in the future. You can then click on back to the preprint and you'll see the preprint displayed here with its abstract, the title and abstract on prereview.org with a link to read the full preprint online on its server. And over on the other side of the page, uh, as Zenodo is able to populate that pre-review and make it accessible for services like Preview to pull back in and display, you'll eventually see your pre-review right there next to the abstract of the preprint itself. We hope that this publication demo for the prereview.org workflow was helpful. If you have any questions about the process or if you'd like to give us any feedback on it, please reach out to help at prereview.org and that will put you in touch with our product team who will then get back in touch with you to learn what it is that you have to say about pre-review. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.